Hello there, I am Giant Quill from Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we got here to Future City after finishing the rest of the cycling road and battling a couple more, uh, th I guess three um, bird keepers on the transitional route kind of thing, or transitional area. I don't think it was a route actually. Um, I'm outside the Pokemon Center and I think in one of these houses is the move deleter. I think this is this guy. Oh yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do? No, okay, of course not. So that's like in case you accidentally, or temporarily, Accidentally or temporarily, like you can Todd HM to one of your main Pokemon in your party. Um, you can go there and it'll, like they'll delete that move for um free and stuff. And um, that's like the only way you can delete HMs really. And you'll forget it completely. So there's actually gonna be an empty slot in your move set, so you can use like a TM or something to fill it, I guess. Or like if a Pokemon lands a new move, it'll fill and take that spot. Then it like completely forgets that that move and it leaves um a move slot open. That, that, just having like three moves basically for example if you got rid of one HM so here's some swimmers what's gonna take them on I'm just gonna take these two swimmers on real quick I can't exactly go across water yet but hopefully we can soon I'm going to the fire zone which is where HMO3 surf is actually so that's good I have to exercise and warm up before I go on out for a swim cool that's good I guess getting your exercise yeah okay so this is swimmer uh, Richard okay here's a, he has a tentacle level 30 okay yeah, and Star Man, I evolved um, my Star U into Star Me last part too. So let's go for the uh, Thunderbolt. Let's see how much this does. I'm hoping at least half. Yeah, over half, good. And it's paralyzed, nice. Can't move, good. <laughs> that's kind of that's mean to say, like, oh, it, it, good, it can't move. <laughs> you know? Let's take out this tentacle though. There we go. Shelter, okay, we'll stay in. It's just Thunderbolt on this thing. Here we go, nice. Ready to feed it to my Ricardo. Oh, Richard, Richard, I almost said Ricardo. Dang it, okay, I forgot to I skipped every dog, sorry, but thanks for the dollar 20 cents, man. He's another swimmer. Wait, slow down. You have, you'll have a heart attack. Uh, I was walking. I wasn't running. I was walking. You silly goose. This is swimmer Reese. Okay. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Reese. Okay, let's go for the Thunderbolt again. Take it down the Scaldean. Hopefully the Scaldean goes down in one hit. That'd be nice. Yeah, it did. Cool. There you go, now Starman's level 28. Nice. Send out Horsey, okay. We're about to send out Horsey, that's good. Thunderbolt. There we go, nice. About to send out Star you, okay. Star you versus Star me, everyone. Nice. There we go, nice. Pray if it's somewhere very cool. Ooh, that's chilly. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the dollar sixteen cents. Really appreciate it. So now we're gonna hop over this ledge here and um we're gonna talk to this guy right here. This is Mr. Warden's house, I believe. Warden says, Yes. Okay, so you have to find his gold teeth in the safari zone, actually. If you go in this house, you'll get this good rod from this fishing guru. So I'm a fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't go without. Go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, grand. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. We got the good rod. Which now is guys a super rod, but that's okay. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. A chum, a crummy old rod could only catch Magikarp, yes, but with a good rod, you can catch more, much better Pokemon. Yeah, and if you actually go outside, you can, there's actually a fishing area where you can probably get a Dratini in this body of water, which is kind of cool. But I won't be fishing there. I already have my water type, so I'm good. So, it, the way you can get to the Safari Zone here without using Kai is just go all the way around. 
You won't even need cut, so that's good. I have to go all the way around, sorry, my bad. There's a Chansey, a Voltorb, and some other Pokemon I just passed. There's a Kangaskhan. Here's a Lapras. Let's face it. Well, its back is towards me, so... It's not... Oh, I mean, that's a... No, I mean, that's not a Lapras, it's a, um, Kabuto, I think. I think it's a Kabuto. Yeah, Kabuto, okay, yeah, cool. There's a Lapras. I think it might be, a, depending on if you chose the Helix Fossil, um, at Mount Moon, it might be a... I'm not right there, actually, so it's kind of cool. If that's true, like the opposite side, get IT Pokedex. Let's, um, so what can we sell? Is there anything we can sell? Nope, I guess not. Okay, fine. We'll buy. Let's see, Ultra Balls. Let's, uh, this is the first time we can actually buy Ultra Balls in. Nice. So let's see, let's buy, like, ten for now. Uh, Great Balls. We can buy two more. I'll actually buy five more Great Balls, too. Or Ultra Balls. There we go, nice. So, fifteen and fifteen. Yeah, there we go. Super potions. It's probably like three more. Our vibes. It's probably like three more. Four heals will buy like five more. And then max repels will buy like five more. Okay, that's cool. Let's take on the Safari Zone challenge now. Yay! Let's go. Here's Safari Zone. Safari game. Pokemon you catch. Okay. Cool. It's a cool slogan, I guess. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can play the Safari game. You can uh, roam the wild open Safari and catch what you like. Would you like to play? Yes, of course. That'll be $500, Pokedollars, please. Uh, we can only we only use special kinds of Pokeballs here. You get the 30 Safari balls from the 10. Okay. We'll, we'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or Safari Balls. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Okay. So... Let's see here. I'm just gonna try to... get past here. Because I wanna actually get the HMO3 Surf and the Gold Teeth on the first try. So, that's my plan. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, um... He has a leaf stone, nice. Okay. Right there is a TM, I think, for sunny day. Let's try to get it. Dang it! Okay, fine. Let's see here. A uh, parasect. Do I haven't caught one of those? <laughs> let's throw some. Let's throw some bait at it. You can throw bait at it. You can throw a rock at it. Bait makes it like so it's eating like that, and then um. Rock throwing a rock makes it mad, but for some reason throwing bait and a rock at it or something like that is will help catch. Have a better chance of catching it. You can't really weaken it down, so you have to catch it at full health. Broke free. Yeah. Parasect is still eating. Okay. I may not be able to catch this parasect because of being stubborn, but we'll see. One, two, three. Ah, oh, fine. I was down on myself anyway. If I throw another bait at it or rock, I think it'll flee, so I might as well just try another fireball. Okay, let's see here. Oh, nope, it broke free. Watching carefully. Those creepy Google eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, okay. One. Dang it, I'm not gonna be able to catch this, am I? I keep on doubting myself, though, jeez. I gotta catch this first, like, my Pokedex, man. One. Ah. Uh, I think I, I. Okay, if I throw another piece of bait at it, it will run away or flee. Okay, it's gonna run away, okay. Or fleed. Yeah, it fled. Okay, here's Team 11 Sunny Day. Okay. Here is another item. It's a full store, very worth picking up. Let's see here. We can actually put that to the top of the bag. There we go. Nice. Ah, another Pokemon battle. It's another Parasect. Oh, man. Let's start throwing a rock at it this time. It's angry. Ha ha ha. Let's see if we catch it now, yeah. One. 
two, three. We caught it nice on the first safari ball that time. Yes, it's number 47 in the Pokedex per sect mushroom Pokemon. Its height is 3 foot 3 inches. It's 3 feet 3 inches tall, 65 pounds. It's, um, its footprint looks like a little, um, like an insect leg or something, you know? A host parasite para in which the parasite mushroom has taken over the huge the host bug prefers damp places. Okay. Uh, let's name you, um... Name you Paris, I guess. After the country. Paris, nice, okay. Okay, we got another Pokemon battle. Here's another male. Okay. Let's um throw a ball at it. I think this is a, these are like the easy ones to catch. The nerve male and nerve and female are easier to catch. So that's good. One, two, three. Ah, oh, man. So nice they slightly popped out of his survival. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. We caught it. Yay. Nerve and male was caught. Yay. Add to the Pokedex, okay. So, um, Neuteran ma Male is number 32 in the Pokedex Poison Pokemon. It's it's 1 foot 8 inches tall, 19, it weighs 19.8 pounds. It's, um, it's footprint looks like a tiki tiki mask from like Crash Bandicoot. Okay, it's, it stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger, the larger horn, its horns, the more powerful it, uh, Selected secretive secreted uh, venom, I guess. Let's name you, um, I'm gonna name you Purple, I guess. It's not a very creative name, but well, it'll work. Purple. There we go. Cool. Okay, so is that an animal over here? I don't know if there's not. Okay, cool. Whatever. I missed out him down there, but that's okay. Let's see, it's the facility. More the safari zone. Yeah, there we go. Um, here's a quick call, I think. Yeah, cool. Let's give that to Pokemon, actually. Um, let's get oh, animated Pokedex. Jeez. Pokemon. Let's give that to. Cofable, I guess. So, give, give Colfable the Quick Claw. Cool. Okay, we go up here next, and then around here, and then up here. Dang it, so many wild Pokemon battles. Here's an Execute. Let's throw some bait at this egg is cute. Okay, it fled. Fair enough. Guess it, I guess I wasn't hungry. <laughs> okay. Here's another wild Pokemon battle. It's a never and female. So I'm gonna try to just use a safari ball on this thing. One, two, three. And we caught it, yay. Okay, so Nidoran female, um, the poison Pokemon, its height is 1 foot 4 inches tall. Um, if I 15.4 pounds, it's, uh, uh, footprint kind of looks like an insect head or something, I don't know. Although small, uh, its venomous barb render, uh, these Pokemon dangerous, um, this Pokemon dangerous. The female has small horns. Okay. Let's name you light blue or something, you know? White, blue, out of fit, actually, cool. Which name have the colors, yeah. There we go, light blue, yeah. Cool. Here is a TM347 for stealing, cool. No, I don't want to. So many wild Pokemon battles, jeez. 
Here's a Venomoth. I guess it's not so bad. Let's throw a rock at it. I don't know if we can catch it, but <laughs> it might flee. Yep, okay, it flood. You didn't like that. Okay. Lesson learned. Protein, okay. Let's give that to what does I know it's a vitamin, but like okay, we have the tax out of a Pokemon. Okay. Let's give that to um Let's give that the airbender, I guess. Yeah, the tech stat was raised. Cool. Let's see how we do on footprints. We have like two. We have 230 steps out of 600 left. We had 600 at the start, but now we have 230 steps left. And now we have 228. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all based on how many steps you take in the. Well, it depends how long you can stay. Is that how long you'll stay in the safari zone of a free game? So yeah. Okay, so let's read this sign. Request notice. Please find the uh, Safari's Warden's Lost Gold Teeth. They're around here somewhere. Reward offered. Contact Warden. Okay, let's go down one, two, three, four, four steps. And we found the gold teeth. They didn't look pretty hard. I mean, they could be anywhere, but it's four steps down from where you read the sign from that side. Jeez. We got the gold teeth, so that's good. Here's TM32 Double Team. Finally, we want to get to this house right here, and we want to talk to this person right here. Let's talk to him. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. We get HMZ03 Surf. Nice, from the attendant. Okay, cool. But in the team's case, HMZ03 Surf, Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water using it. And this TM isn't, uh, dispensable disposable so you can use it over and over you're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize of course i am it gives me the ability to sail across water with my pokemon and stuff nice so let's let's teach that to um star man real quick yes, surf okay um star man's the only one can learn of course i guess yeah um which we should be forgotten let's get rid of um water against 40 and then uh Water pulse is 60. Okay, let's give it a water gun. Nice. One, two, and poof. Starman forgot water gun and machine set. Starman learned surf. Yay. Cool. So now I can go explore in the safari zone for 124 more steps. 124 more steps, I should say. Actually, I didn't make that clear. I said it like a I mumbled it so I wanted to say it clearly. Yeah, okay, so let's go let's look for some Pokemon. I can fuse the fishing rod actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use a super rod for old time's sake. I think you can actually find like a Dratini in this um if you use the super rod, which is kinda cool. But yeah. I'm not gonna catch it. Oh, well, I already have a Trinity because I bought one at the game corner back in Celadon, so I'm all good. I'm gonna register the super rod and we can fish to our heart's content. Since we won't be taking any steps really, that means that I can just keep on fishing for as long as I want. <laughs> see what we got here though. Pokemon's on the hook, yay. Seeking, cool. I think Seeking is like the only Pokemon that can really, in this generation at least, that can win Waterfall leveling up. It's kind of weird. Waterfall is another HM we'll get into later. I right, can I just do this fireball, dang it. Oh well. One. Dang it, okay. It flood, okay. Fair enough. I didn't get, I didn't throw a rock at you or feed you, so you got you kind of fled. Okay, another Pokemon's on the hook. That's your routine, nice. This is level 21. Um, I guess we could catch another one just to have one. Okay, let's use a bit. Let's use a fireball. One, two. Three. Oh, of course it broke out. Oh, of course it broke out. Dang it, it was so close to catching it. It was so close to catching it. Nope, of course not. Let's see if we throw a rock at it. We'll get mad if we flee. I'm pretty sure it'll flee though. Yeah, okay, Flood. Fair enough. Let's try one more. Not even endable. Okay, fine. I'll next encounter, I should say. See what we get here. Nice. Another seeking. Okay. Let's um. You throw a rock at it. Yeah. 
cool. It's angry. Okay. It's the ball right now. It's the fireball. Let's hope we can catch this thing for our Pokedex. Oh nope, of course not. You broke free. Still angry. It's an angry fish. Nope, of course not. It's not gonna... Okay, fine, whatever. Let's take on, um, some more wild Pokemon in the grass, at least. I already caught a native and female, so I'm just gonna run. Okay. I'm, ho I'm hoping we can find like, a King's Con or Chansey, but those are really rare. rare. Here's a Paris. I already have one, though. So I'm gonna run. Because Chansey and King's Con are really hard to catch, honestly. Unless you have really good luck. There's another Execute. Oh, wait, yeah, cool. I haven't, I haven't caught one, though. So I'm gonna use a bait on this thing. So some bait. Of course you're gonna flee. Fine. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this Pokemon is. It's a Nidder and female, of course. Let's just run away. Let's do our own fleeing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Another Nidder and female. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. A Nidorino, okay, cool. You're really looking just level up um, my purple Nidorino uh, male to evolve a Nidorino, but let's try to catch this thing. Let's use bait. Okay, it's eating. Cool. So I survived ball at it. Two, three. And I can just use a straight moonstone on this thing to evolve in the Nido King, so that's awesome. It's cool. Um, it's number 33 in the Pokedex, Nidorino, Poison Pokemon. It's 2 feet, 11 inches tall. Uh, it weighs 43 pounds. It's, um, it's footprint actually kind of looks like a Pineco, like the Pokemon Pineco. It's kind of funny. Um, an aggressive Pokemon that is quick to attack. The horn on its head, uh, serenates, uh, secretates a powerful venom. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I'm gonna name you King because you're gonna evolve in the Nido King eventually with the Moonstone, so I'm just gonna name you King. Okay, yeah. Cool. Is that a Nido and a uh, female? I'm gonna run from it though. Like a boss. Ding dong, time's up. Your Safari game is over. Okay. Did you get your fresh share? Come again. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's go back around, I guess. Am yeah, I Pokemon at full health? I think they still are. Well, and Starman might not be. Okay. That's okay, let's heal up. I'll heal up. I'll heal up all the Pokemon Center just um, off screen, just in case. So, yeah, let's go back to the Warden's house. Steven gave the gold teeth to the Warden. Nice. The Warden popped in his teeth. Okay. Thanks, son. You're a real lightsaber. Wait, I had to carry that. Gold teeth in my bag, in my backpack. That's kind of gross. Okay, thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not one, not even one. Uh, I was too ashamed to show my face around the office. Even let me give you something for your trouble. It's HM04 for um, the warden. We get your strength. It's awesome. Let's teach up the Clefairy actually. I right, trouble Clef. Let's put the um, bicycle back on Richard's other two. Okay, so here's the TM case. Your strength. Let's give that to Triple Cliff. So in strength, however, it already has four moves. Should delete him. Should move be deleted and replace the strength? Yes, which should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, Mega Punch. One, two, and poof. Triple Cliff forgot Mega Punch. And machine set. Triple Cliff in strength. Nice. Oh, I can also use strength right here. Uh, can we, I think we can use strength outside battle. Yeah, we can. Cool. Because I got the gym badge for that. I think it was um, Erica's gym, actually, that we got the rainbow badge. So we can use strength outside battle. Here's a rare candy. Very worth picking up. So, off screen, I will go and deposit uh, and heal my Pokemon and deposit this leaf stone in, my, in Steven's PC. But in the next part... We're going to be taking on the Future City Gym, 
it's a poison type gym, so you use like ground, well to, yeah, use ground and um, uh, psychic type Pokemon if you can. Here's the gym right here. So um, I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green YouTube walkthrough part. The next part, I'll just do right that, do that, and take on the uh, gem. So yeah, this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank you for tuning in. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walkthrough guide.